Hi everyone, uh, this month in, in August, uh, our church is participating in Simple Love. Now, Simple Love is a way that uh, we as a church can love and look after uh, people in our community, particularly those who are asylum seekers, uh, who are refugees. Uh, what we're doing is we're collecting uh, non-perishable food items, toiletries and transport tickets and collecting them all uh, here at the back of the church. Uh, there's a list of things that, that we're looking for. Uh, it'd be great if you can uh, contribute, bring something along, uh, put it on the table and we can get lots of stuff we can uh, use to love uh, our neighbours in this area. Uh, August is the month of doing it. Um, get involved soon. Thanks. I'm really excited to be back again at work and very much looking forward to our women's winter dinner coming up on August 15th. Music is such an amazing gift, an amazing instrument to help us to feel various emotions, to tell stories and to understand things in a new way. <laughs> Zoe and I do lots of singing together and there's a very special lady called Nikki Shepherd who's going to be coming to the women's winter dinner. I've known Nikki since I was a teenager and she has an amazing gift of being able to sing in a really gentle, folksy type style. On the 15th of August, she's coming along to our dinner and she's going to be playing music throughout the night and telling her story about her journey with Jesus as she's grown in her relationship with him. She's an amazingly lovely lady and she's going to be the main part of that night other than us sitting around a table and sharing food with our friends and family who we're bringing along. I really want to encourage you to get busy inviting friends, family, neighbours, whoever it is that's on your heart so that they might come to know Jesus. So don't forget to come and grab one of those uh, postcards and come and see me and get your tickets booked. $20 a person, it's going to be a really great night. So last week we had a, uh, a little clip from Raj talking about how he prepared uh, a sermon. This week we'd like to uh, have some members of our congregation come and talk about the impact of Bible teaching in their lives and how that uh, helps their spiritual walk with Christ. Uh, have a listen to these people as they share some of the impacts in their lives. My name is Janari and I've been here at TAC for three years now. I've been a part of a growth group ever since I've started attending the 6pm congregation. I live in Campbelltown and that's a bit of a trek from here but I love coming to TAC because of the growth groups that we have here and the community that we have at the 6pm congregation. I love coming to the growth groups here because I get the opportunity to build relationships with people um, I never would have thought I've um, crossed paths with um, just being here at the congregation. Um, and we get to look into the Word together. Um, we get to share wisdom with one another um, and we get to share lives together, um, which is such a privilege. I also love coming here to TAC because um, we're being fed the truth um, and I believe that the leaders here are proclaiming the Word of God where we can learn um, more about being Christian and where we can um, bring others to know more about Christ. So I hope you've seen there the work that goes on in the background to prepare Bible talks and sermons and Bible studies and things that uh, require study and work. If you uh, would like to contribute to this, as you know, we are currently showing a budget shortfall of about $21,000 or $100 per adult. Uh, you can contribute to this one particular area of ministry, um, and that can be one way that you can support our church as we try and meet our budget deficit. Uh, please uh, see the back of your handout. That will provide some details on how you can contribute to this area. Um, and yes, thank you. Thanks once again for being with us at church here uh, today. It's a great um, privilege and honour for us that you've uh, come today. In a few moments time, we're gonna continue in our series in Galatians as we see what God's apostle Paul is saying to us about the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, you'll see on the back of your handouts the delightful news that just in, in, in July financially we've been able just to catch up a little bit. Again, we've given you those envelopes so you might be able to help us um, uh, make up that deficit so we can focus on what we're trying to do here as a church, which is bring, build and send for the Lord Jesus Christ. Mighty things are happening in our midst and um, we, we're, we're delighted that you're part of it and we hope that God will continue to build you, uh, hang out for that last day when the Lord Jesus returns and takes us to be with him.